this is the kind of scene that makes Canada's bankers cringe, a store dedicated to piggy banks, meant to keep money away from the banking system and away from the stock market. I'm confident, I think, in the long-term picture. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm a little shocked with the, the switch of government and the dollar dropping. The market is extremely volatile. People are nervous and they are going back to the safety of cash. Canadian corporations have long been accused of hoarding money and being too miserly when the economy gets shaky. Now CIBC says everyone else seems to be doing it too. The bank says cash holdings are up 11% over the past year, money that could be in the stock market but is not. The amount, $75 billion, with Canadians literally putting it in their piggy banks to wait out the turbulence, which Tal says is a costly mistake. The market is volatile, but at the same time, uh, we always react in the wrong time. Basically, we go to cash when we should be invested because uh, what happens is that uh, you go to cash and you miss the recovery. But this economist says the bank should have put the unused cash reserve into perspective with our much heavier debt load. The amount of household debt is about 25 times of the excess cash holding we are talking about today. Canadians are known to be conservative. That's why the banking system was very safe and sound during the 08 financial crisis worldwide. So that reflects our mentality. The bank, though, seems to be driving home a point that being too cautious too long, as Canadians tend to be, means they may miss out when the markets bounce back, as they always do. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.